All right, so the last talk of the day, it's all about detecting security issues as fast as you make them. Please welcome Pavel Bansky. Thank you, thank you for staying so long. Um, so my talk, as I said, is about uh, detecting security issues, uh, ideally as fast as possible. Um, it's pretty much, so who am I? Huh? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, I work for Microsoft. Um, I'm working mo mostly on a static, a static analysis tools most of the time. Uh, I'm also avid motorcyclist, so if you want to talk something about them with, and computers, uh, you can do it. Um, attending Turcon since 2012, however, this is my first time uh, talking here. So speaking of static analysis, what's the problem with static analysis and, and finding issues in your code? Uh, we usually run the static analysis at the end of the uh, development cycle. Uh, so all the issues we found, we find them in a bulk at the end of the game, and uh, often there's no time uh, to triage it, or if you triage them, there's no time to fix it. So uh, things get uh, postponed, and uh, the fixes get postponed, and uh, everybody's praying that uh, nobody else is going to find those issues. So what would be the better way to do it uh, is if it worked like this, like you make a mistake and you know right away that you made it as 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 you type in your code, so uh, think about it as a as a, a static analysis uh, uh, as a, as an IntelliSense. So you work in your IDE, uh, you write you write in your code, and as soon as you make some uh, potential security uh, misstep or issue, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be notified. And that's, that's how uh, our team uh, came up with the idea to build this open source tool called DevSkim. Uh, it's an op open source IntelliSense extension for uh, IDEs like Visual Studio, uh, VS Code, which is a Microsoft, um, Microsoft uh, multi-platform editor, and also Sublime. It gives immediate uh, squiggly line uh, feedback, just like IntelliSense, uh, whenever you introduce something that it's uh, considered insecure uh, or potentially uh, potentially threatening. Um, it provides also verbose information about the issue, as you will see in the demo. So not just the squiggly line, but also give you feedback uh, on where exactly the problem is. Uh, uh, not, not where, of course where, but what the problem is and how to fix it. It also recommends the fixes and fixes the code if you, if you choose to do so. Uh, so I skipped the demo, hopefully the screen will still work, and it's not, so let me just go back to the, uh, no, um, it's not working, of course. Okay, I will be typing like this. Um, no, I want to get back to the. Uh, so, sorry for the technicalities. Um, Try and then I'm gonna have to type on the on the big screen. Ah, here we go. No, we don't. I don't see it here. Oh well. I will do my best. Can you can you see the uh, the text? Is it big enough? It's perfect. So uh, right here, I should have uh, some uh, C or C++ plus plus code. Uh, so let's do, let's say I type string cat um, destination.
I got the three line and I know there's something wrong. So string get is considered band API according to uh, Microsoft SDL. Uh, you get some information what's, what's wrong. Um, you get a little bit more info on how to fix it. And there's, we also have these GitHub pages where you can, where you can see more information. What's uh, interesting that you can um, go and click on this uh, light bulb and uh, replace it with, uh, with one of the recommended fixes, uh, in this case, uh, string at S, and the code is automatically fixed to, to secure version of the, of the API. Uh, this, this argument is, of course, could be resolved, so you have to uh, put some constant or size of or something like that. Um, sometimes uh, what can happen is that you have code like this, uh, which is, of course, not uh, ideal either. Uh, but you want to keep it for some reason, because maybe the secure version of that API is not available yet for your project uh, or for the platform you're working on. Uh, and so you can, um, you can uh, choose to um, uh, postpone that, the issue. And then uh, you still see what the issue was uh, and the date uh, until it's been postponed. And that's, again, maybe you're waiting for the secure version of the API to be released, but you don't want to lose the track of the, of the issue being in your code. So if once, the, once this uh, date um, is expired, the code, uh, the, the problem is reintroduced back, to, back again. So. Similarly, uh, we have, uh, if, you, if you skip to, to JavaScript code, no, that's not it. Ah, yeah, um, so for issues like timeout uh, in JavaScript or eval, this is, it's another uh, set of issue, uh, 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 APIs that might not be necessarily uh, insecure on its own, but oftentimes are insecure because you can have a code that can be injected uh, and so, so uh, you can, what you can do is, um, uh, in here, you can just say reviewed, and now we can see that I was looking at the code, and I reviewed that issue, which still is marked, uh, and uh, you know who, who, who reviewed that issue. So basically, that's, that's for the code reviewers to go over the code and see, yes, the set timeout or eval, it's something that can be potentially threatening, but we review this particular line, we know about it, and so uh, it, it, you put the mark in your code. Um, similar, I can show you how it looks in Visual Studio. To bring it, it's, uh, it's acting still very, very same. So if you do uh, var. And say MD5 create. Then immediately have the same. Um, this is a little bit more colorful, a little bit more uh, UI friendly, and you can you can uh, choose whatever you want to do about the problem. We we also not just uh, looking at the APIs itself. We um, also looks into, uh, for example, comments. So whenever you have comment like this. Uh, we again uh, flag it for you to tell you, hey, this is, you know, something that we potentially uh, sometimes leads to a problem. Someone f forgets something in the code. Uh, maybe worth looking at it. There's uh, other bunch of other uh, things like that. We, we, we look at, for example, hack. Sorry, we, we try to f uh, learn from all the. Uh, comments we found in the source code, and uh, that typically uh, may lead to some insecurities later on. Um, also, some people complain that uh, it can be too noisy and gets too much information, uh, especially on these low, um, low-level issues like the like the comments. So uh, you can always go to um, to settings and change the uh, severity of the of the. Uh, you want to be reported about. Uh, there's a thing to int uh, one thing to point out is the rules, uh, default or custom. I will be talking about it a little bit later. But basically, we we provide a set of rules or security detection algorithms. 
so to speak, uh, f that comes with the tools, but you can also write your own. If you have some specific uh, needs for your particular framework or language you are using, you can, uh, you can point uh, Visual Studio to, to, your to the custom folder with your custom tools. Uh, sorry, custom rules. So I go back to presentation. Uh, so how does it work internally? Uh, it's um, pretty much based on uh, regular expressions right now, but we are uh, the have uh, the, this is the preview version, but the public version that it's uh, coming pretty much very soon is uh, already has some little bit more advanced uh, detection algorithms, not just the rejects. We can just do a little bit more. Um, all is written in uh, C Sharp and .NET uh, for Visual Studio. Uh, we also have a, a standalone uh, a NuGet, a NuGet DLL, so you can just uh, integrate this tool into your own project or your st or static analysis tool. Uh, for VS Code and, and Sublime, we have JavaScript and Python engines, but those are uh, integrated with the plugin, so you can you can I mean you can you can still the source is out there, so you can still take it out and use it for yourself. But it's not uh, exposed like in a C sharp or .NET version where the whole API is exposed. Uh, in terms of languages, uh, we support many. However, the the strongest, uh, the richest uh, amount of of uh, rules we have for C, C++, uh, JavaScript, and the usual suspects. We also uh, understand files like webconfig uh, for those who work in ASP.NET and or package JSON. Uh, again, that um, sometimes can uh, contain um, vulnerable versions of, of uh, libraries, so we can flag those as well. Uh, this is example of the of the rule file. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's JSON. Um, it describes all the textual information. It uh, the the uh, what issue it is, how to fix it, uh, what this rule applies to, which languages, C, C++, Objective-C. Uh, here is the, the regex pattern uh, we are looking for. Uh, what scope is in, if it's in the code or comments. Uh, the underscore comment is just uh, commenting for, for uh, the particular block. Uh, and this is for the fix it. So as you can see, as, as you saw in the demo, uh, we offer uh, some options for you to fix the code so this is this is the co uh, this is the uh, description of it and so contribution uh, it's all open source under MIT license uh, we are always looking for more rules uh, and more uh, more languages so if you have some knowledge of Go or other uh, language that we don't support currently or or, or frameworks you know sometimes um, .NET Core uh, or some ASP.NET uh, or, or PHP frameworks uh, that are not ha could, could have some uh, potential security issues or known so security issues uh, that you want that we we should be able to detect. And please uh, contribute your uh, contribute your those those informations. Also, we're looking for uh, to to extend Dev Scheme to more IDEs. Uh, so. Again, just either shoot us an uh, issue on, a, on GitHub, uh, let us know what is your favorite ID, IDE, uh, whether it's uh, NetBeans or you name it, so we can prioritize which, which one uh, we, should, we should focus more. Uh, or ideally, if you can uh, contribute uh, your own uh, extension, that will be even better. And that's pretty much uh, all for me. Uh, so. Here are the links. Here are the links if you want to contribute uh, or download. And I'm open for questions. <laughs> right. If there's uh, no questions, then I'll see you at the, uh, the closing remarks. Oh, sorry. That was a question. Uh, we are looking at things like uh, we, we try to understand the code a little bit better. So, for example, uh, one of the things we uh, if like is HT use of HTTP. But the problem with HTTP is that if you have XML file and you have the you know the, the, the XML names, namespace also comes in HTTP. So we don't want to flag that. If it's in HTTP, for, so if it's in the header of XML file, we don't flag it. Same thing for uh, PHP. Uh, if you if you use the 
uh, the, the dollar get, you know, try to get the, uh, the arguments right away. We, we're going to flag it, but if you have them in, um, if, you, if you have them, uh, what do you call it, sanitized, then we won't flag that and stuff like that. So we try to understand a little bit more about what's uh, after or before your code uh, before we, f we flag the issue. So that's kind of what we are, what we are doing. It's, uh, we have a lot of questions regarding why we're not using Roslyn and other uh, technologies like that. The reason is that Roslyn is right now uh, tied only to, or right now, it probably will be always like that, to manage languages. So for things like C, C++, or Python, it, it, it would just uh, not work. Uh, that's why we choose the um, regex approach and also, we try to. It's, it's always we want to be fast because it's part of the it's part of the IDE and uh, also reasonably effective. And so it, it's always a trade-off. So we, we, we cannot detect. We, we don't have the understanding of the flow as the other static analysis tools have. Uh, but we try to be. Yeah, we try to be fast. <laughs> so that that's that's the limitation. Um, it, I, th th there are ways. I, I think uh, we, we could do that, uh, but again, we trying to we try to cover. The, the, the idea is that we have uh, more engines and the, s and the same set of rules, and it's hard to inter you know it's hard to interpret the same set of rules on. Uh, uh, if you have, sometimes you can have the more information, like the whole tree of the code, and sometimes you just have the full full text search available. And um, while we're trying to be in as, as many platforms or many IDs as possible, uh, then yeah, we are kind of limited with the scope of just just the full text search, pretty much. Yes. 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 Uh, we we have uh, yeah that we we get that comment uh, a lot that people are like hey I don't want this to touch my source code for the, uh, and so what you can do you can you can turn off the specific uh, issue in the in the config file. For example, so so you can say, hey, I don't want, y y I don't want to see this issue because for some reason maybe we are using MD5 for some big compatibility reasons. So instead of like f uh, putting comment on every line like that, you can you can disable that particular rule for your project. So you can do that, but then then you are losing the track of the issue, right? Because uh, if you have it always turned off, then you will. Again, it's uh, yeah, you you can turn it off. You can turn it off. It's, yeah, uh, I, I mean, it, it, this is not meant to like replace static analysis uh, completely. Uh, we, we never uh, shoot for that. The idea was just, let's try to find out uh, what we can while the developers are making the, the, the issue, uh, the, the, you know, the problematic code. So that, that's like, you still should use your um, static analysis tools at the end of the uh, development cycle. Uh, this is just try to make it, um, a little bit more educational for developers, uh, and also catch as much possible uh, issues as, 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 poss as soon as possible. So, um, but yeah, I, I agree. It's it's always uh, we have that same comment like yeah, like we wanna here it makes sense, here it doesn't make sense to to flag this issue, and uh, but we don't wanna yeah, it's it's always the trade-off. Any other okay. Okay. 
I never heard of it, but I definitely will write it down because it's worth to look at. Uh, do they do they do they support other uh, do they support IDEs like like this or is it? Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will. I I never heard of it, so I cannot. Uh, cannot. Okay. Yeah, we we look into it. Like there's different linters. Definitely, you can uh, for JavaScript and others. So they they, they do something similar. Uh, our team in Microsoft is um, we we are working a lot a lot of uh, work with the SDL team, and so we kind of try to. Yeah, we are just leveraging the knowledge of the issues that people are introducing most often in their code, and, and that's that's how this project come up with uh, that c uh, came up. So we didn't do any like market research what what's out what else is out there but yeah definitely a good point i'll write it down <laughs> any other questions all right well thank you thank you very much